Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another holiday countdown tumbler tutorial. In this video, we're going to do a vinyl split kind of three-way stripe split design. <laughs> we're going to use some really cute pattern vinyl from the Vinyl Cottage, some gorgeous glitter of course, and make a really fun and festive Christmas coffee tumbler. I really love how this cup turned out and I hope that you all enjoyed the tutorial. As always, if you do, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps the channel out and make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well if you are not already. Of course, be sure to let me know what you think of this video down below in the comments and as always, check out the description box for all of the information you'll need from this video, my supply list, discount codes, social media pages, a link to my Facebook group, a link to join my elite group, a link to my website, all of that fun stuff is always down in the description box. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. We're gonna be using a 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler today and we're gonna use this super cute pattern vinyl. This is from the Vinyl Cottage and the name of the pattern is Christmas Snacks. So we're gonna start by measuring our tumbler vertically because we wanna get the height of the tumbler so that we can make sure that both the top and bottom sections are the same size. I started out by making these sections about two and a half inches each and then I looked at it and I thought no, and I decided to make them each a half an inch bigger. So the top section and the bottom section are both three inches, and then that remainder in the middle is where the glitter is going to go. So once I've got those two little areas marked off, I'm gonna take some painter's tape and line it up as straight as possible based on those two little dots that we made to mark out our top and bottom sections. Now, honestly, you could probably do this without taping off this middle section of your tumbler, um, but I decided to do it, but you could probably just skip this step. So once we've got that done, we're gonna go take our vinyl and we're gonna trim off all of the white borders from the edges of the vinyl. Then I'm gonna take my measuring tape, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of frame here, but basically what I'm doing is just going from the edge of the vinyl, measuring three inches in and then another three inches in, marking those down so that I can cut those stripes out with my paper trimmer. That's why I say you don't really need to tape your middle section off because you're just gonna put these at the top and bottom of your cup. So if you wanna skip taping that middle section, that's totally fine. I did use that tape line though to help me get this vinyl lined up straight. So just take that for what it's worth, I guess. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this vinyl and I'm going to wrap it around this top section first. And you can see I've got a little bit of overlap at the top. That's totally okay. It's such a small little sliver that it wasn't worth like remeasuring and trimming and all of that. I just left it as is. So I took away a little bit of that backing from the vinyl and then applied it the same way I normally do. And I'll show you a bit in more detail when we do the bottom stripe. So once I've got the vinyl on, I'm gonna trim off this little strip of excess from the top. So starting with getting all of that big strip of excess, I'm gonna cut that. And then I'm gonna take my knife at a 45 degree angle and just shave off any vinyl that's hanging out a little bit over the top rim. Once I've got that top piece of vinyl on, I'm gonna remove some of this tape and I'm gonna put it back down over that vinyl so that we can protect it and mask it off for when we paint that middle section. So I'm just repurposing the tape, taping it along the edges and all over that top piece of vinyl. And we'll do the exact same thing on the bottom, which you'll see in a little bit. I did take my Sharpie and mark off where the seam of my vinyl is on that top stripe so that I can be sure to line the seams up on the bottom stripe so that they're both like in the back of our tumbler. We don't want our seams to be like randomly around the tumbler. We want them to be essentially in the same spot. So now moving down to put the vinyl stripe on the bottom, I'm gonna take my cup cradle and draw a straight line on the bottom of my tumbler. And then I'm gonna use that to help me place the straight edge of my vinyl with a little bit of the backing cut away. So we've got a little sliver of adhesive exposed. And I'm gonna line that up with that straight line, wrap my vinyl around, make sure that everything lines up the right way. And then I'm gonna take my vinyl scraping tool and just push the vinyl onto the tumbler, just like that, how easy. Um, it didn't line up perfectly, which is, pretty common, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that the seam is laying down flat and then I'm gonna cut around that little snowman cookie so that we have a kind of a disguised seam. And then I'm gonna take, like I said, my painter's tape and I'm gonna tape off this bottom section. And when I take that painter's tape for that top area, I'm gonna line it up and try to get it straight. And then I'll just cut off that little bit of excess vinyl that didn't line up perfectly. And then in the end, you'll have no idea that I didn't line it up the right way.
We're gonna paint and glitter the bottom section of our tumbler too. So I'm gonna take some electrical tape and just line that up with the bottom edge of the vinyl. And then we'll paint and glitter both of those areas so the middle of the tumbler and the bottom at the same time. To base paint our tumbler, I'm gonna use my Delta Creative Ceram Coat Acrylic Paint. This is the color Hunter Green. And like I said, I'm just gonna paint the middle section of the tumbler as well as the bottom. And I'm gonna let this dry about 30-ish minutes before we go in with the epoxy method to apply our glitter. Now for the epoxy method, I'm going to use a little bit more epoxy than you typically would for the epoxy method. I've been doing this lately and I feel like the results are a little better. So I'm taking maybe like two to three milliliters of epoxy, just making sure that it's spread evenly all over these areas. And I'm going to let my cup sit for about maybe five-ish minutes to let that epoxy even out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my glitter. I'm using Pond House from Peachy Olive Glitters today beautiful fine cut deep green oh i love it so much and i'm just going to cover these areas with this glitter by itself i know one glitter today well i don't know what's happening to me you guys i'm using one glitter <laughs> once the glitter's on i'm going to tap off the excess with my scissors and then i'm going to go through and i'm going to remove all of that painter's tape so that the epoxy doesn't cure onto the painter's tape and make it a pain to remove later I let my cup sit and dry for about four to six hours before I added my first coat of epoxy. Now I did forget to seal my glitter, so a little bit of my green glitter moved around a little bit, but that's okay. I'm keeping this cup for myself and it doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna do my first coat of epoxy and then I'll do a second coat. Each of those coats was about 25 milliliters and I used the Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy. So once that second coat was cured, I was ready to go in with my vinyl striping. So for this first little set of vinyl striping, I'm using this gorgeous red chrome vinyl. This is from Banff Custom Creations and it was the extra in a recent um, subscription box and it is so beautiful. She's got a ton of colors so I will link them down below for you if you want some really good chrome vinyl. I recommend Banff. She's got amazing stuff as you guys know. So I put those red stripes on the seams where the vinyl and the glitter meet and I cut those at 0.18 inches in width and then I took some transparent glitter vinyl and I'm going to lay that inside the glitter section like right underneath or above I guess the red chrome vinyl just to add a little bit of extra detail and then I also cut a thinner red chrome stripe to um, put on the bottom of the tumbler where the vinyl and the glitter meet down there so I laid those down and then I did another coat of epoxy over that to ensure that we had a smooth surface to apply our decal to our decal is going to go over that striping so I wanted to make sure that we put epoxy over it so that everything was smooth and we didn't have any bumps or ridges or anything showing underneath the decal. So after that coat of epoxy, I did sand down the top rim of the tumbler too to expose that thin line of stainless steel so we have a really good seal up there. And now I'm going to apply my decal. So I found the seam of my tum of my vinyl wrap on the back of my tumbler, flipped it around so that the decal will go on the direct opposite side of the seam. And now I'm going to apply the decal. So for the bottom layer of the offset, we're going to do a double offset today. I'm using that same transparent glitter vinyl that we used for that little inlay stripe. So I put that down first and then for the middle layer I'm using just regular white or a Kyle 651 vinyl and I'm going to put that on of course line by line. You guys know how I do. <laughs> so once that's down I'm going to put the top layer on and for the top layer I'm using that same red chrome vinyl from Banff and I'm just going to lay that right in the middle of the white. So for this middle offset layer, I took my regular decal, my regular SVG, and for the white layer offset, I made this a 0.03 or 0 0.035, I can't quite remember. And then for the bottom layer offset, I took the white offset, the middle layer, and offsetted that in a 0 0.06. So you can make your sizes, obviously, whatever you want. For the middle layer, when I do a double offset, I usually like to make it pretty small and thin. This one I made a little bit larger than I typically would, but normally when I do a middle layer offset, I want it to be really, really thin just to add a little bit of an extra like shadow or pop to that main decal. So once I've got my vinyl down, I'm gonna go right into my final coats of epoxy. I did not seal my vinyl and everything was fine. So I added my final two coats and that was it. So here is the final tumbler design. I love how this turned out and I cannot wait to go to Starbucks and get a 30 ounce Trenta 
caramel brulee latte. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just for fun, down in the comments, because it goes with the theme of this tumbler, let me know what your favorite Starbucks holiday drink is. I want to know. And tell me if I need to try it as well. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Thank you.